Today on In the Wood Yard, I'm cold and I got wood to deliver. Here we go. It is cold this morning. It's somewhere in the teens. I don't know, like 18, 19 degrees. And it's windy. That's the bad part. I don't mind the cold. When it's windy, oh, it just goes right through you. And I haven't done any work yet to get warmed up this morning. So we got a order for two face cords or two thirds of a cord of mixed hardwood. So we're going to put that in. We're going to go deliver it. And then I got something real important to talk about. We're going to talk about why I separate my wood. Somebody wants to know. Here we go. Well, there it is. Two thirds of a cord in the trailer, ready to go down the road. And I warmed up now that I got some little bit of exercise. It takes, I don't know, 10 minutes or so to throw that much on. It's in, and we're gonna go down the road and do a dump. And uh, that's gonna happen in a little while. But right now we're gonna talk about something that a guy on the channel asked me about, and it's a good question. And I think it's uh, there's enough to talk about here that I think you guys would find it interesting. So we're gonna talk about why I separate my wood. This is mixed hardwood. This is the stuff that people don't really ask for specifically all the time. The other wood is the kinds of woods that people ask for. And we're gonna go show you those and talk about those right now. So in this pile behind me, the one that I just uh, tossed into the trailer here, this is all mixed hardwood. And what that means to me is wood that is not super highly desirable by itself, meaning wood that people don't really ask for. So the kinds of wood that I put in here, it's mainly a lot of tree service wood, but it's a lot of ash. That's probably the number one thing I have in this uh, mix here because that's what I get a lot of. That's what we have a lot of because a lot of the ash trees are dying and so there's a lot of it available. So ash is what goes in here primarily. Then after that would probably be soft maple because we also get a lot of soft maple that people are getting rid of and cutting trees down and it's pretty easy to get. So that's probably the second largest kind of wood that's in here as far as quantity. After that is probably elm because we get quite a bit of elm and probably box elder and box elder not as much but we do get some of that so those are kind of like the four main kinds that are in here now also there is some oak in here a little bit of oak gets mixed in occasionally because sometimes we'll get a stick of oak from someone or it'll just get put in there so there's a little bit of oak once in a while you get some cherry but not too much of that most of that i try to keep separate the other kinds of wood that you're going to find in here occasionally because we do get some of it i get a little bit of basswood I get a little bit of aspen or popple, not too much of either of those, but once in a while there'll be a stick mixed in with a you know, load that we get and it gets put in here. And it is hardwood. For those of you that don't think it's hardwood, it is hardwood. Deciduous trees lose their leaves, hardwood. Conifers, evergreens, softwood. That's the difference. That's all you got to know. It's pretty simple. So that's what goes in here. Also, sometimes I will get some thorn apple in here and some buckthorn because it gets a little bigger in some of the areas. and that's pretty darn good wood too um, sometimes we'll get apple wood mixed in here i get an apple tree occasionally that someone will cut down and it can be anything from a crab apple to an actual fruit apple tree um, that we'll get and there'll be some in here and every once in a while i find it in there so that does happen now i might get uh, some hackberry in here occasionally i've seen that once in a while once in a while you'll get an ornamental tree which could be anything from uh like i said like a crab apple tree to a uh, uh, mountain ash. Um, there's all kinds of different things that people cut down in their yards or have cut down by tree service that will get in here. So you get some stuff that's weird sometimes. I had one the other day that I think was dogwood, a flowering dogwood, which is kind of like a crab apple tree. Um, and the wood is almost more like a, a maple, I would say. It's kind of a different kind of wood. Um, so I, I've seen that. Um, and sometimes it's hard to tell what it is. So, oh no, oh, and the other thing that we get in here, every once in a while we try not to have it in here is cottonwood. Once in a while you get a piece of cottonwood in here. Uh, we try to keep the cottonwood separate because that usually goes to a guy that um, will burn it in his boiler. And there's a couple guys that will take cottonwood because they'll take anything, they don't care. They'll just put it in and it burns. They know that it all wood burns. So that's really the moral of the story, all wood burns. So that's my mixed hardwood. Let's go over to some of the other stuff and talk about that. So in this bin right here, this is mostly red oak. There is some white oak in here also. And I have the oak separate because we have people that have to have oak. And that's the wood that they want because that's the wood that their dad burned. It's the wood that their granddad burned, their great granddad burned. So this is all oak in these two bins here that I'm walking past. 
There is some white oak in here too, but it's mainly red oak. Um, and there are people that want oak for smoking also. So that's another one of the categories is people that smoke uh, will sometimes want a specific kind of wood because they think it makes the food that they're making taste better, different, whatever. And uh, so there are people that will only use oak for smoking. There are people that will only use oak for burning because that's all they know is oak. You know, I think a lot of it comes down to what they've experienced in the past, whether it's family member or how they grew up or what they hear in advertising. You know, you hear the oak fired pizza ovens or you hear the oak fired uh, smokers and they think, oh, oak, oak, that's what it's got to be, oak. Or we got oak trees in our yard or we got oaks around here. So oak, that's what we should burn. And they get stuck on one kind of wood. And there's a lot of kinds of wood that are good. So there's the oak. Uh, the other kind of wood that we uh, sell for smoking and we separate out is hickory because we have people that definitely want hickory for smoking. That's all they want is hickory, nothing but hickory. And then we also get people that want cherry and we keep that separate. And that's right over here. We're going to walk right over here to this pile. Uh, this cherry pile um, is not very big this year. Hopefully I'll be getting some more. I've got a guy that got contacted me and he's got a whole bunch of it that I'm going to be able to buy. So... This is the cherry right here, and I have sold a lot of cherry over the last couple of years, probably two semi-loads, but this year, this is all I've got left right here. So hopefully I'll be getting some more, and I got a contact where I've got some available. So cherry uh, is another kind of wood a lot of people like for fireplaces, and the reason is is because it burns easy. It has a nice flame to it. It smells fantastic. Uh, it might burn a little faster and not put out quite as much heat as oak does, but it's a very nice wood for burning. It's pleasant, it doesn't snap and pop and crack, which I actually like. Um, but cherry is a really nice wood, and a lot of people like that, so there's the cherry. The next wood is right here. This is beech, and I keep that separate just because I had beech, and this is the first beech I've had in any kind of quantity. I've had sticks here and there, but that beech I have right there, and then right next to it in the bin, this is all hickory right here. And again, like I said, the hickory is more for smoking, and that's the reason I put the beech with it, because a lot of the people that do smoke um, like beech and hickory, or that's what they want to burn with. So that's what's in there. Right next door, is all hard maple, that's what is in here. And I have the hard maple separate because it is better than soft maple by far, as far as heating. So this is all soft maple in this bin right here. And there's also a lot of hard maple, all hard maple mixed with a little bit of ironwood. And uh, that is over in this giant bin over here. And this is all hard maple in here. And we have this because um, I bought five truckloads this year. And I feel that uh, hard maple is actually better than oak, but that's just me. And the reason I like oak, I mean, the reason I like uh, hard maple better is that it cuts easier, uh, it splits easier, well, just as easy. Um, it puts out just as much heat, if not a little bit more than oak. But the big thing is it dries way faster. This stuff here, three months it was dry. Not even three months for some of it. It dries really, really fast. Uh, the ironwood is the same way. The ironwood dries super fast. And in my state of Wisconsin, where I am here, ironwood is actually the hottest burning wood there is. So I just mixed it right in with the hard maple here because most people can't tell the difference anyway. You gotta look at the bark and the inside. Uh, but ironwood puts out, a, it's like 28 or 29 million BTUs. Um, hard maple puts out, I, I believe it's 25, somewhere right in there, whereas oak is 23 and 24. Uh, hard maple holds coals really well, um, but the big thing is, is that it dries fast, so I can turn it over really fast, which is really nice. So there is uh, the hard maple. The next pet batch I'm going to show you is right over here. This is birch, and the reason I have the birch separate is because there are some people that think birch is special. And uh, for certain parts of the world, it is because that's the best wood they have. But this wood in these totes right here is all birch. So this is all birch, this is all birch, and this is all birch. And a lot of people like it because it's pretty. Um, I find that there's a lot of people that think it's really good because uh, it burns so easy, and it does. The, the bark on it was kind of like paper, so it starts very easy. It has its own oils in it, so it burns super, super easy to start, and it's a nice burning wood. But not quite as much heat as some of the other stuff. Now, the other kind of wood is this stuff right here. This is all pine. This is red pine and white pine. 
is pretty much what's in there. We also have jack pine, but I don't have any in this pile. Those are the three kinds of pine we actually have in my state of Wisconsin. We have white pine, red pine, and jack pine. <laughs> That's the, the, the native ones anyway. There is also some other kinds of pines, but they're not native to uh, Wisconsin. So that's what that is. Now this pile over here is all mixed stuff that I'm starting with. And uh, this is all stuff that will be ready for next year. We've been working on this. So that big pile there is all gonna be mixed hardwood. There's a lot of ash in there. That's primarily what's in there. So I think part of the reason that people think a certain kind of wood is better than others is just because that's what they've always had and they're not familiar with it. And to answer the question basically as to why I separate the wood is because I have people that we refer to affectionately as wood snobs they have to have their kind of wood and their kind of wood only and they don't like any other kind of wood they want oak or they want hickory or they want cherry uh, and then there's some people that want pine just for running outside because they like the snap the crackle and the pop uh, pine is nice because it it burns easier it has high, higher and bigger flames because it burns faster but it doesn't put as much heat out and some people think the only reason to have firewood is for heating. Well, no, there's a lot of people that have it just for enjoyment, just to have a fire in the backyard or in the fireplace. Most of my customers do not heat with wood. And that's where some people that watch the channel, they think, oh, you know, why would you even consider wasting your time on pine? Or why would you consider wasting your time on aspen or cottonwood? Why, would you, why don't you just throw it out? Well, because it burns and people buy it. So that's why. And there's people that are perfectly happy with it. And so there's that. No, I think the other reason that maybe people get stuck on a certain kind of wood is they get they get used to hearing it in advertising. You know, they hear uh, uh, Beechwood Aged, which is Budweiser's slogan, a Beechwood Aged Beer. So they hear that their whole life and they think, oh, Beechwood, that's got to be good stuff. Or they hear, you know, Hickory Smoked Sausage, which is there's a, a place north of us here that they make sausage and, and that's what they one of their slogans they have on their packages is hickory smoked sausage and i don't know if it actually even is but that's what it says on there uh, and then there's people that hear oak fired pizza oven so they think they got to have oak because they hear it in advertising it's no different than the average person that gets stuck on a brand or a certain type of thing so when people have a hard time understanding that i say to them or i ask them uh, you know what kind of liquid do you prefer to drink what's your favorite do you drink just water? Do you drink Coke? Do you drink Mountain Dew? Do you drink uh, beer? And if so, what kind of beer? Are you a, a Miller guy? Are you a Budweiser guy? Are you a Coors girl? I mean, what do you drink? You usually have a brand that you like because you have an affinity to it. Same thing as automobiles or trucks. Most guys and girls will drive the same kind of vehicle for quite a while before they'll switch brands because they get used to it, they like it, they're familiar with how it's designed, how it works. They have a good working relationship with the dealer they go to and the repair shop. So there's all that stuff that, that goes into it. So um, same thing as you know, food in general. You know, what's your favorite food? A and when was the last time you had it and are you gonna have it again? Generally, there's certain things you like and you stick to it. So that's why I separate the wood. It's not because I care. Um, I do it because my customers want it. Uh, if it was up to me, I would keep the pine separate just because I like that for campfires and all the other stuff I would just mix together. That's what my brothers both do in their, in their uh, firewood because my brother Ken heats with wood, so does my, my brother Eric. They just throw all the wood in a pile. Like, yeah, it might be separate because they cut it at certain times and have a pile of oak and then a pile of something else or whatever or hard maple or a pile of pine and that's what they burn and they might grab from one pile or the other depending on how cold out it is and when it comes to uh, picking out wood in a pile I can look at it, identify it most people can't I know exactly what it is mainly because I handle it so much I see it so much whether the bark uh, the interior you know the grain structure of it as far as how the grain of the wood is or how it smells um, sometimes uh, you can tell by that um, and if not I pop it apart split it open and you can you, you can look at it and you can get a better look at it if it's something that's weathered or you can smell it and you can kind of smell what kind of wood it is every wood has a very distinct smell so yes you could just mix it all together and you could sell it that way and there are people that do that I know of a couple places that that's how they sell their wood they it's mixed hardwood that's all they have it's all mixed together and it's a little bit of everything. But I find there are people 
that have an affinity to a certain kind of wood, or they know that oak is a better heat producing wood, or they know that hickory is a better smoking wood because that's what they've used, or they know that pine is great for outside campfire because it does burn easier, it has higher flames, it's got more snap, more crackle, more pop, uh, it burns faster so you can get up once in a while and poke the fire and throw another log on. So it's more of an active kind of wood because you got to put more effort into it. And that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people think that, that pine or aspen or cottonwood or some of the lower heat producing woods are no good and a waste of time because you have to put more work into it to actually get the same amount of heat out of it because a lot of people don't realize this, but all wood basically has the same BTUs per ton. All wood has the same BTUs per ton. So what that means is, is if you took a ton of oak, you would have a pile that would just, we're just gonna say for instance, say it would be a half of a cord of oak. And for the amount of BTUs that would produce, you take the same amount, one ton of pine, say white pine, you're gonna have more than probably a full cord because it has half the BTUs, it has high half, it has twice the volume of, of what oak does when it comes to the wood itself because it's a lighter, um, not, not as dense, more fluffier wood, so to speak. It's got more air in it, so that's why it burns faster. So I don't know if this helps anybody, but I just thought I would talk about it because a lot of people have asked me over the years, you know, why don't you just mix your wood into to all, all, why separate it, why waste the time? Well, oh, and one other reason I just thought of, I didn't think of this till just now, oak specifically. I have that separate because it takes a lot longer to dry. It, it's a much slower drying wood. White oak dries slower than red oak, and red oak sl dries slower than almost all the other wood. Hickory is probably second uh, uh, behind oak as far as slowness of drying. Um, then after that, everything else is pretty darn good. Uh, most everything else dries pretty fast, um, especially if you get it split. If you get it split down to where two, three, or four of the sides are open and there's no bark on it, uh, because bark is like skin and it protects the, the wood, it keeps the moisture in, uh, that's something that you gotta think about. So turnover is huge for me. Uh, that's why I don't really care for oak. Even though a lot of people want it, if I had to pick one wood that I could only have one kind of wood to sell, it would be oak. Not because I want it, not because I like working with it, not because it's light, not because it is my favorite wood, it's because of what people want. So in my firewood business, I do what people want. That's why I separate the wood. Now there's a lot of people that don't care. They just want one thing. They want wood that's gonna burn now. They want dry, fully seasoned, ready to burn right now wood. That's what they want. And that's what the wood that I sell is. So there's the lesson for today. Let's go make a big steamy dump. The trailer is empty and I am at my business. I have to go do work the rest of the day. So tomorrow, when you come back at 5.30 a.m., I'm gonna do some splitting of wood. We gotta split a whole bunch of it tomorrow. So that is the plan. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. Right now, you're gonna go watch all the other videos on my channel. There's 1,200 waiting for you. You got work to do. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.